Hey everybody, it's Brad with the Big Family Homestead. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a dehydrating because we had a bumper crop, an unexpected bumper crop in our, in our uh, green peppers, but also there is a must have, absolutely essential, cool, awesome prepping gizmo in this box. And I'm gonna share it with you just in a few moments, so yeah. We thought our garden was dead, but we were wrong and the green peppers kept a coming. And we actually, yesterday or the day before, I can't remember, we picked um, two five gallon buckets full of green peppers that had made it and had grown somehow after a hard frost. And so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how we cut these jokers up and, and, and dehydrate them and put them in vacuum seal without using any electricity because of this cool gadgets. Okay, first things first, you're gonna go ahead and take your peppers, get them cut up into small chunks and de-seeded, and then you're gonna load them into your dehydrator trays. But one trick we learned from our half acre homestead, Mrs. Wolfie over there, is if you put parchment paper into the tray, they don't stick to the, um, to, the, to the plastic and it's real easy to get them out of the trays and you're not fighting with them, they just come, they just come right off and it's, it, yes, do that, it works great. You're looking for it to be just about like this. Now on to the dehydrator, yeah! Okay, so now that we've got our peppers loaded into our dehydrator, we're gonna put this on to about 135 degrees and we're gonna let this go till everything's all crispity crunchity, but that took about 16 to 18 hours for us. So we'll check back here in just a few minutes. Well, not a few minutes, time lapse. Here we go. So we've waited our time and these peppers are completely dehydrated. Now what you're looking for here so make sure they're nice and brittle, crispity crunchity, hear that? These are ready for us to put into our vacuum seal jars, booyah. Now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna take our peppers out of our dehydrator, load them into these jars. Basically it's regular old canning jars. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna go ahead and vacuum seal these things without any electricity. Look at all the space we're saving by doing this. In terms of saving space, this right here was about 20 peppers. So that is a serious space saving uh, thingamabobber. So here, let me show you the device. And it's, it's real basically simple. It's you use literally a non-electric brake bleeder. You use a brake bleeder alongside with one of these devices here, one of these food saver devices. It's a wide mouth can, seal can sealer. So all you've got to do is take your regular old lid, put it on top of your jar. You're going to put the top of this wide mouth food saver can sealer, jar sealer right on top of there, just like that. Then you're going to take the attached hose and you're going to put it on one side of the old brake bleeder. Uh, come on, we got this. And the other side, as you might imagine, goes into this food saver sealer. And this is the only kind of tricky part. You got to do it with one hand because you got to hold this in there. And then you're going to pump this. You're going to pump it till you get to about 15 psi. And Come on, give me a workout. And once you're there, I keep slipping on me. <laughs> once you're there, which we are now, we can let this loose. And the jar is sealed. Vacuum sealed, no electricity, very, very cool. So there you have it, dehydrating the peppers saving a lot of space by putting them in these jars and, and sealing them up without using any electricity. This is an absolutely essential prep, I would say. And don't forget the links are down below, but these are cheap too. I think they were like less than 20 bucks if I remember correctly, uh, but what a cool gadget anyway. So there you have it. I'm Brad with the Big Family Home. Whoops, stuff's falling all around me. Homestead, you have an amazing day.